Good evening. My name is Shane Alexander, and I'm here to discuss with you the benefits and challenges of OER. I also would like to talk about the concepts that are applied to K-12 educational learning. As technology is vastly improving and resources are being made more accessible online, materials are available for free. That brings me to talking about OER, Open Educational Resources, which are teaching and learning resources that are freely available online for everyone to use them, whether you're an instructor, a student, a educator, or self-learner, even if you're homeschooled, which is a major benefit. Some examples of OER include full courses online, such as the ones we take for our master's program at Liberty University. Course modules, which I actually was involved in a technology module certification program this summer. Your syllabus are provided online. You can get lectures online, educational videos online, research articles online. Homework assignments and quizzes, labs and classroom activities, games, simulations, and any pedagogical material are all provided online for free. Some challenges of OER includes, let's think about the fact that most material are not readily accessible and understandable when they're delivered online. Also, student, students are responsible for their own learning, which can be a challenge for most. Bandwidth limitations such as videos and movies that may be viewed online for your educational research. Also, some people may find the internet very confusing and intimidating if they don't know how to use it. Also, when we talk about teachers or instructors, without the great amount of professional development, they might find putting a material online or even disclosing any educational material online for the students to be very difficult or challenging to adjust to that student-centered or learner-centered uh, educational platform. When I think about the concepts, I think about the concepts for K through 12 that surrounds the OER. They're becoming more evident in the world today and being embedded in many lessons with students K through 12. In our text on page 117, it talks about uh, the state of Florida and how they are mandating that all state districts have a virtual K through eight and nine through 12 visual or virtual learning platform. Also, I talked about Michigan. Michigan requires all high school graduates to take online educational courses for a graduation requirement. Virtual learning or OERs can benefit schools, districts, and states by supplementing existing curricula providing new curricula, promoting course sharing throughout the district and schools. It also can reach students that can't or just don't want to attend school physically.